What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. My name is Alex. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to properly use the velocity tool because I've actually talked about this years ago. And I think the last time that I did it was probably like 2016 and my buddy Casual Savage did it back then. Right now, a lot of time has passed, of course, and, and there are multiple different ways how you can apply this velocity tool in your editing. If you guys are all about like slow motion tools and speeding things up, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use the velocity tool today in Vegas Pro 18. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here watching for the very first time. And I would say let's get started with velocity tool right after the intro. All right, guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18 and I have this Call of Duty Warzone trailer because that was a really, really great example to show you how to use the velocity. Now, if you pay attention, if I play back this clip, it already has velocity in it, like right there, you know, it goes to slow. But what doesn't have velocity is this part where it's flying across this, you know, this roof. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our own velocity right here so I can show you guys how to speed it up, how to slow it down and all that. So we're going to first play it back and then decide like, where is that part going to be? Now, the thing that I would recommend is if you're going to use velocity, try to shoot your videos in 60 FPS, because if you're not going to shoot them in 60 FPS or 50, but if you're going to shoot them in 30, for example, it's going to look a lot, you know, more stuttery and not really that smooth. So 50 or 60 FPS is actually recommended. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause it actually where we want to have it to start. So I'm going to go frame by frame because it's flying over right here. And I think, you know, it may be like four or five frames into the next shot, which is this one, one, two, three, or five, or let's pick six, seven, right there. We're gonna start, for example, making this slow motion. Now, the thing is, if you wanna slow it down, you can press S, and then you can just hold left control and stand on it until it says uh, trim stretch, and you can stretch it down, and as you can see, it slows down. We're not gonna do that that way, because this is, of course, uh, about velocity. Put your cursor uh, where it should start, and then we're gonna right click, and then at the very bottom, we want to go ahead and click on insert or remove envelope, and then we're gonna hit velocity. Now, this green line will appear actually right here and where it's at right now is the speed so right now it's quite low because that's the regular speed but if we're going to right click on it and we're going to add in a point this little dot is basically where it's going to start going faster or slower now what we're going to do is we're going to create another point which is right here so it doesn't start off from the bottom then we're going to hit add point and then what we're going to do is we can actually drag this guy up meaning that we will fast forward it as you can see it goes really really quick but we're going to slow it down make some slow motion shots so then i'm going to place it right here. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now that we created this dot, as you can see, it, this one is a little bit more below than the beginning one, because if you're going to put it below, that's going to slow it down. If you're going to put that one upwards like that, that's going to be faster. So anything above this first dot is going to be faster. Anything below this little first dot is going to be slower. So let's play it back right now. And let's go ahead and cut to the next shot where we'll see this woman grabbing her. I think it's a bazooka like that. So then we're going to start from this shot. So then what we're going to do is make sure we will stand on it right here. Then we're going to right click on this green line. We're going to add in another point, add in another point because the first one is actually where it ends and the second one is where it begins. Then we're going to make this a little bit faster like that. So let's play it back. As you can see, that looks really, really nice. Let's add in a couple more of these points. So when the helicopter is crashing, we're going to make that also slow motion as well. So we're going to move on a couple frames until it explodes. So I think starting from the explosion right here would be great. So we're going to move one frame further. Then we're going to right click as always. We're going to add in a point. Then we're going to move up a little further, add in another point, And we're going to make this one slow motion again by putting it down like that. All right, so let's play back what we made in total. As you can see, that looks really cool. But when the text appears right here, we don't want to have that slow motion. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this frame where it starts. Then we're going to add in another point, add in one point a frame further. And then we're going to put this one back to 100%. As you can see like that. So this is how you basically create these slow motion clips without making them longer in your timeline. Because if you're going to go ahead and do that, basically, if you want to go ahead and make slow motion videos, you would, for example, cut it and then stretch that part a little longer and then just, you know, put the the other part to it so it's slow motion in that specific piece but if you're going to do it that way your timeline is going to be a little longer as well and the order point is basically that if you're going to do it this way it is 
actually a lot more accurate because you don't have to cut. So let's say that you want to have, for example, only a slow motion clip between one, two separate ones. You can do that. But if you want to have, for example, one slower and then a little bit faster before you go into the usual speed, you would, you know, chop that up and mess with that. You know, this is just a lot easier just to create these velocity points. And there's nothing more to it, actually. You can just go ahead and do that as well. And that is, of course, what velocity comes down to. So it's really, really nice that you can have this one without cutting into your actual clip because like I've mentioned, I did that for years as well. And anytime I wanted to do something, I didn't actually know what the original speed was. But if I would, for example, cut right here, this is how you would first do it. You want to hold left control and you want to drag it. You saw those crooked lines. The longer you stretch it, the bigger these crooked lines will be. But if, but the bad thing is if I play it back, for example, like that, as you can see, if I wanted to have it go back to normal speed like that, now it's a lot faster. If you want to have this one a little bit faster and then the next part a little bit slower, for example, like this. And if you then want to go to the normal speed, there is actually no way of figuring out what is the original speed. You kind of would have to guess, for example, like that, because there is no percentage that you can focus on. For example, oh, 100% is the original speed. But right here, you don't have that. You don't have, for example, if you hold left control time stretch, you kind of have to guess what the original speed is by these lines. And it's just a lot more sloppy if you want to do it this way. You can do that. It doesn't really matter. But I would just actually, you know, recommend using velocity for slow motion clips, speeding it up and all that. And that is basically how simple it is. And that's how to use Velocity in Vegas Pro 18. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. Now you guys know how to properly use the Velocity tool in Vegas Pro 18. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the continued support. I will catch you guys, of course, in a brand new video on Friday about Vegas Pro 18. So I'll see you guys in the next one.